This is Gene Key, KTTT News. NewsChannel10.com is reporting from Wheeler, Texas. An Oklahoma man is dead following a fiery vehicle crash just east of Wheeler. The Department of Public Safety says Trinity Lawrence was killed Tuesday evening after his semi-trailer hit another semi on Highway 152 in Wheeler. Lawrence's truck jackknifed, ejecting him. He was not wearing his seatbelt and was pronounced dead at the scene. The driver of the other truck was injured and treated for his injuries. A construction worker is in critical condition after falling three floors early Wednesday afternoon in Amarillo. According to NewsChannel10.com, the Amarillo Police Department says a 33-year-old male was working on scaffolding at the Fairfield Hotel being built on Airport Boulevard. The man reportedly lost footing before he fell. He was transported to the hospital where he's in critical condition. Some Wichita Falls residents are extinguishing what is left of their dreams for a better life. St. Gobian announced in March of 2008 that it was closing the St. Gobian Detrotex America plant in Wichita Falls. The plant was the city's 11th largest civilian employer. St. Gobian Detrotex America came to Wichita Falls in 1977. After the closing of the plant, this left 720 employees out of work along with the loss of a $4.3 million payroll. A large fire was burning at the 787,000 square foot plant. The plant sits on 330 acres on the west side of Wichita Falls. The economic disaster began when Oliver Duvall, the director of strategy for St. Gobian Detrotex America, came to Wichita Falls to announce the closing of its reinforcement and composite business. The former St. Gobian complex is now owned by a partnership of Wichita Falls businessmen. It's not known at this time if the plant was a total loss. The cause of the fire is under investigation. This is Gene Key, KTTT News.